Hello, hello, hello! What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. It's time for the latest episode of opening up some AQ crystals. So if you've missed it so far, I've done this a couple of times now. Um, every two AQ series, so every, you know, 16 days or so. Um, I am going to go ahead and open up my AQ crystals, map 5 and map 6. Um, the ones that we've gotten, of course, from the last two series, both from, you know, day-to-day -day rewards, peak milestones, rank rewards, etc., etc. Um, so I also use it as an opportunity just to, oops, sorry, to check in on my catalyst dash, on any, you know, big rank ups that I either just did or are in the works, things like that. So just going over it real, real fast. Actually, we can just start right here. So tier five basic, getting a little closer, um, to, to forming one, but of course I need a minimum of two if I want to rank five another five star. So definitely a bit of a ways away on that. Um, next week, of course, we have a new event quest starting, you know, so that'll be another 9,000 shards from doing uncollected, or frags, I should say, uh, from doing uncollected mode. We've heard about um, like a celebrity challenge type coming later in the month that should have an epic difficulty for the first time ever. So we'll be intrigued to see rewards there, but uh, obviously for now it's going to be a little while. I do also have the next set of the Occult Labs crystals to open. I'm waiting till the end of the event, which is happening in a few days. Um, I got 3,000 Tier 5 Basic Frags from the first set of 34, so I'll have 36 more to open when the event is over. Um, aside from that, uh, you can see I've got 9 Tier 4 Basics, so you know keeping, keeping the stash rolling there. Um, let's go ahead and look at tier four stash. I have not, uh, re maxed out on anything. Um, I've been trying to do some smaller tier, uh, tier four. I've been trying to do some smaller mystic rank ups. Um, you know, recently I've gotten ghost rider. I've gotten juggernaut. I've gotten, uh, magic all as five stars over the last couple of months. So I've been trying to rank them up just to keep the mystic catalysts flowing. Cause I've been maxed out on those for forever. Um, and Mutant, of course, it looks like you can see there it's getting uh, pretty close to being maxed as well. Thankfully, I have nothing in the stash. And then in terms of the alphas, um, I've been doing, you know, some small rank ups here and there as well. So definitely need to rebuild the tier ones. Tier two, I crossed the, uh, the, the third threshold. Um, so getting closer and closer to the fourth. So I could do another like rank four for a five star. Um, still a couple of options that I would very much like to do. Um, you know, Beardo, uh, Infinity Man would both be great, but I am kind of waiting for an awakening there. Uh, Gwenpool would be cool. Gladiator Hulk would be cool. Iceman. Um, Gulk is probably the only one that I wouldn't wait on the awakening for. The rest of them, I think, you know, like Ditto Magic as well. They all really need to be awakened to do um, at least a rank four, in my opinion. So I'm going to hold off on them for now, but again, I can't anyway, because I need at least one more uh, Tier 2 Alpha. So anyway, that uh, that's kind of the update in terms of the uh, catalysts and potential rank-ups. Um, I'm still, uh, as you can see, about 5,000 six-star shards away from a six-star pull. I'm definitely going to be sticking with basics, because um, that, that pool has gotten mighty nice recently. Um, so again, you know, that'll be maybe by the end of the month, if I'm super lucky with five star pulls, if maybe there's some six star shards in the, you know, like Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals or with this epic challenge mode, who knows? We'll see. But, uh, you know, again, I'm kind of waiting to do any big rank ups based on that, based on if I can get some of those nice five stars awakened. So, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. But for now, enough yammering on. Let's go ahead and get to the crystals. So I uh, got 47 of the map 5 crystals and 14 of the map 6 crystals, as you can see right there. Um, per tradition, I just like to spin one of them out for the heck of it, uh, even though there is no real. I just like, I don't know, warming up, so to speak, you know. Uh, see if I can get the, the luck flowing. So, again, if you have missed it ever since Season 5 started, the drop rates have gotten better um, for pretty much all of the AQ crystals, but especially for Map 5 and Map 6. Um, and with Map 6, 
uh, you can now even pull a fully formed tier two alpha. One of my alliance mates actually just did it for the first time earlier this week, which is pretty darn cool. Um, nothing fully formed here for the first set of 10. Nice stash of, uh, of uh, tier four basic frags. So it looks like I am about to form one of those probably in this next set of 10. Let's see. And oh yeah, definitely. Cause that was another 6,000 or so right there. But no other fully forms. Again, you know, Mystic and Mutant, I kind of want the, the lowest amount because, you know, I, it won't immediately go into overflow. But, of course, uh, forming either one of those will max me out. So then anything after that would go into overflow. So we'll see what happens there. Form to tech. Pretty darn cool. Uh, nothing else new. Next set of 10. Uh, anything, anything? Oh, pulled. I tell you. So if you remember from the first episode I did of this, um, I had pulled a full tier four basic and I had said that that was amazing because, you know, I pulled a full like class catalyst here and there every once in a while, but a full tier four basic I had not done in the old AQ crystals for like, I don't know, eight months, nine months, something like that. It was brutal. And so now, ever since uh, these new map five, or season five crystals have come out, that is now the second uh, fully formed tier four basic that I pulled. So that is awesome. Um, I like these new crystals. <laughs> I really like these new crystals. So let me just do this last set of six here. Anything else? Uh, nah, I didn't think so. So that's good. Not too many mystic, not too many mutant. Like I said, you know, that would start getting me into uh, overflow, but... Uh, that's fine for now. So, yeah, fully formed uh, basic, formed a basic, and formed a tech. Not too shabby. Let's go on and go over to the uh, map six crystal. So, now I want to see a bunch of tier two alpha frags. Um, they had those daily cards yesterday, two days ago. I forget when it was. I think it was yesterday. Um, that were pretty darn good. Like, it was actually a pretty good deal. I ended up passing on them, but... Uh, but yeah, it's it was nice to see that those have gotten a boost, just like like the five star daily card and the four star daily card uh, also got a boost as well. The last time those were offered, so yeah, they were they were pretty decent value, I must say. Uh, nothing exciting on that first one right there. So let's go ahead and pop this uh, set of ten. Let's see some tier two alpha frags. Uh, pulled a fully formed mystic. Uh, like I said, I just I gotta stop saying what I don't want because Kabam will just continue to give me. Anything that I don't want. Um, still happy, though. I'm absolutely happy with that. You know, fully formed anything is great. Uh, that just maxes me out. 2,000, just under 2,000 tier 2 alpha frags on 10 crystals. Not bad, not bad. Let me go ahead and do these last three right here. Uh, wow, another 1,200, over 1,200 tier 2 alpha frags just in that last set of three. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, there's that fully formed mystic as well uh, looks like that's about it uh, nice so i think that actually almost tops me out on tier four basics as well since i pulled that fully formed one and i formed one um because i think i was at nine right yeah or no that's right the the new max is 15 i don't know why i thought that was also 12. uh it's been a while since i've had this many tier four basics just sitting around usually they like they come in and they go out like i just keep doing you know uh, four star rank ups, five star rank ups, just to keep improving the roster, improving uh, the overall rating. So yeah, definitely no complaints on this opening. Still have not pulled a fully formed tier two alpha. That is definitely the goal with those map six crystals. Uh, but getting closer, getting closer, because that was a nice stack of uh, frags from the from those crystals. So now, as you can see, I'm almost halfway uh, to getting a number four on the tier two alphas. So yeah, I will just continue to build, but that for now, we'll wrap it up. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, of course, hit that like button, comment down below. If you have been lucky and gotten a fully formed tier two alpha from the uh, map six crystals, or if you've been finding that these crystals overall have definitely been treating you better because they definitely have for me. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I go live or whenever new content gets added to the channel. Aside from that, thanks everybody for watching. Happy Saturday, by the way. Uh, take care, and I will see you all next time.